going on, All Terrain Nation? Whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, you know the drill. It does not matter what you drive. This is your All Terrain Nation, and I'm your host, David Boyd. And today is Ford Everglades Day. It's not Raptor Day. It's not, you know, something that really moves the needle. It's Everglades Day. Now, while my opinion is slightly changing on the Everglades, I do think there is a place in the Bronco lineup for this. I'm still not sold just yet, but some things that uh, are popping up just might sell me on the new uh, the new edition. And uh, Bronco 6G got some exclusive photos from a, a spy photographer. And uh, well, let's just let's just get into these pictures. As always, credit is you know where credit is due, and uh, Bronco 6G has uh, paid for these pictures, and uh, they're showing them on their website. And uh, you know, hey. I know, I know how they how expensive these photos can get, so good for them. And I will share the link in this. If you want to get into it, go over to Bronco 6G, find this, and uh, if you want to look at these pictures in greater detail. But I wanted to go into this just a little bit because, um, you know, I've talked about that green color, how it's not for me, but there are particular colors that they can do that are for me, and I like a good khaki color on my vehicles. Now, I read some comments in this particular thing of, you know, well, Ford's just going, you know, going these military colors and blah, blah, blah. And I don't view khaki as a military color, man. I just view it as a, you know, kind of a desert looking color. And uh, let's just get into these photos because um, there's no real groundbreaking, I would say, you know, per se. But uh, we do get a better idea of how this thing is going to look. And first off, I'm going to focus in on that snorkel. And if you're new to off-roading, snorkels have nothing to do with how much water you can forge. I know it's called a snorkel, but it's an air snorkel. So the higher you get, the cleaner the air that you're pulling in. And if you're in the desert or in a dusty trail and you're a group of you and there's people in front of you, you know, the air box is normally, I would say the air box is, uh, let's see if I can get this there. There we go. The air box is normally down here where it's sucking in air. So the higher you can get, if you can get it about two foot higher, it's definitely going to be the, the debris particles are going to fall fast and you're going to get the cleanest air possible depending on you know where you are on the globe. But uh, so that snorkel, once again, it it's not selling me very well. Like in this picture right here, you're like, well, Dave, that doesn't look too bad. What I mean, what what's the beef with it? And we're going to get into it. There's other photos that have a side view and I'm gonna, we're going to go into that because I think they could have done something slightly different though it may have cost them slightly more to do it. But as you can see, you're getting definitely these uh, kind of square fenders, which I'm not sure why this isn't how they came from the get-go. I think this is, to make it a truly a throwback-looking vehicle, I, there, I, you know, I have a Bronco with the round fenders. It doesn't bother me. I, I don't look at them and go, man, this is just horrible. But the square fenders on this thing definitely kind of give it that more 60s vibe to me. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, overall, you can see how they've got the Bronco. It's like it's uh, it's blacked out, which I think that's how it's going to be. I think that's going to be one way that they distinguish themselves from uh, from the other Broncos out there, even though it's still using a Badlands grill, which is um, I would have kind of given it its own exclusive grill, but that's not for me to decide. That's for Ford to decide, and uh, you know me just comment about it. But as you can see, it's getting the full roof rack, and this thing has to. If if this is going after the market that I think it's going to, with uh, you know I've said it, you got Jeep, you've got Toyota, the top contenders in the off road world. You merge them into one, and you get the Bronco Everglades. And I think that's really truly what Ford is doing. They're going after the best of both worlds. We all know. The, the Bronco can keep up with the Jeep for the most parts, but I'm going to say there's you the Bronco can't outflex uh, a heavily modified Wrangler. It just, just can't do it, nor do I want to ride around town in that heavily modified Wrangler. This, to me, is the best of both worlds, but yet the Toyota, you look at the 4Runners, man, it's got a hard top on there, you know? The old, the old school days of that first gen being able to take its top off, the old 4Runners, is uh, not here anymore. And uh, if Toyota was smart, they would bring that back because Bronco's going to eat them alive with this. I'm telling you, because it's a little bit bigger vehicle than the 4Runner. You're getting more cargo space. And Overlander guy is going to want to use all that cargo space because you got to put all those options that you bought, those max tracks. You know, yeah, you're probably not using them, but you got to put them somewhere. And, the, you know, you put them on the, the roof rack or whatever – and um, you fit the part. And I, I'm, I'm kidding, of course, because I like to accessorize my vehicles just like anybody else. So Overlander guy, you know, it's just jokes. But um, so let's get into a, a few more of these photos. And as we can see, you know, basically the same picture. You can definitely see it's got 
these are, as I said in the last video, these are 315, 70, 17. So it's the same Sasquatch style tire. And you can see basically the same Hoth system under there. So there's no nothing groundbreaking that I'm seeing just right off the bat. Uh, once again, you're getting this this I wish they would do something different. I wish they would made an exclusive bumper with that built in. You know, with the winch built in a little bit better. I totally get why you uh hey, it's an aftermarket. We can sell it, you know, as a modular, we'll just sell it and people will buy it. But I think I think Ford's gonna learn real quick that this isn't going to cut it. I think they're going to see a lot of takeoffs and, and they're, they're going to go, why are we spending all this money if uh, people are just taking all these bumpers off? And so be it, which still, you know, hey, if this is, this is what you like. Remember, not everything that I don't like or dislike or do like is maybe down the path you're going by. But you can see that it's got the rock sliders on there, which I wish they would do something slightly better but it's in line with the market it's what jeep does so um you know once again no, nothing groundbreaking here you can see it looks like even the badlands lighting you know you're not getting anything anything exclusive there really um here we can see the uh the wheels a little bit better definitely have that little bit of a throwback vibe and uh does this mean that they're not doing a heritage edition you know i don't know that they are and I think they're going to allow this thing to sort of take that vibe a little bit and kind of run with it. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've seen these these fenders in uh, photos that I'm not allowed to let anybody see. I've seen these things coming, and well, you know, uh, I I think it works for here. And I wouldn't I would say after 23, just do these fenders for everything. These uh, these uh, pull off plastics, just just. Just do it. They look. I think they look honestly better. Uh, once again, you can see the wheels there. Nothing. Nothing groundbreaking in some of these photos. You do get to see the territory MT tires there. Um, let's see. I don't know if they have an exclusive. Now, here's where some of it is getting kind of like with the snorkel. You can you can see this side view. Look how this thing is popping up, trying to go over these uh, the uh, mirrors, which. Is a plus having the mirrors mounted to the body like that is a plus that they can say, hey, Jeep, you don't do that. But Jeep didn't go through the valley and over the woods to grandmother's house to get the snorkel attached to the pillar. You know what I mean? Like, like they just, it, it just looks like a big spatula, honestly, up there. And uh, now, granted, I know what snorkels do. You know, like I said earlier, they're for clean air. Uh, so that being able to get it from the factory is like really, really cool. So, you know, much respect there, but I think what we're going to see right through here on the snorkel when it's unbadged, I think it's going to say Everglades right there. Um, but, uh, let's, let's continue on here. And, uh, once again, it's just side pictures. Um, you would have even thought they might've done different tires on, on this package, but you know, that's, that's a bone of contention, man. I, these tires are, uh, they're wearing a lot faster than I think, uh, you want them to, uh, nice side view here. Looks, looks pretty good. You know, no groundbreaking here. It looks like the taillights are basically the same thing, but it's the, the color. Once again, that kind of khaki color, the desert tan color is really, really cool. I like it a lot. And you know, it's, purpose right that you can see this color these photos don't come out because they don't Ford doesn't want them out they didn't just go oh damn we accidentally unwrapped that and now we're driving it these things it's all set up there's sometimes these photographers are told hey be right here and we're going to run this thing through there and you could definitely tell in in some of the pictures I don't know if it was an earlier picture but you can definitely tell the driver is uh he knows what's going on because let me see one of these photos you definitely can see he definitely knows that he's being uh having a his photo taken i guarantee you of that but uh does this color do anything for you what you're seeing of this it's a uh, i would like to see it a slightly darker uh sand khaki but uh i like that a lot i i had a honda element that was like they called it cargo khaki. It's kind of near and dear to my heart. So I, I do like this color quite a bit. But let's see if there's anything else in these photos that are kind of pulling me out. Now, you know, like there was some pictures, Bronco Nation. I don't think it's going to show in here. But Bronco Nation, it showed some more inside detailed photos. And I think they're going to do body matching colors for all the grab handles and stuff. Because in the green one they showed, it had green handles for Everglades. And I have a feeling that would be really cool if they actually listen to everybody saying hey man why do i have a uh, a rapid red with orange trim pieces you know some colors don't necessarily match but i definitely like that uh that they seem to be paying attention here 
And uh, let's see. But once again, look at that that khaki. It looks good on it. Uh, I don't expect anything different motor wise um, at all. I just think that I think basically the underpinning of this, what you're getting, what you're paying for this package is the wheels, a snorkel, and a winch, and you're going to get some ex probably a little bit exclusive stitching. Um, looks like the big monitor in there, and um, so I have a feeling this is probably like a high lux package option. They're hiding the 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 uh, the Bronco badging back here for some weird reason. Uh, I don't know if they're changing it out or, you know, for this model or if it's just to kind of toy with people. Uh, but unlike the um, unlike the uh, the Raptor that we've seen pictures of, you know, it's got the standard, the standard, uh, all the hardware seems to be standard. Uh, nothing like really sticking out that uh, it, it's like crazy. Here's one of those photos where I definitely know the driver. He knows he knows exactly what he's doing there and why these photos are being taken. But um Overall, you know, there is an Everglades with uh, a new color, and maybe Ford does this. Maybe they launch this thing with, uh, I would say, three exclusive colors to this model. Um, you know, Ford has said that, hey, the, uh, the Everglades and Raptor, they're going to be limited sort of additions. They don't want to just, like, you know, they don't want to get into the same problems that they've had in the past with um, everything else they've done. But uh, I, I I could dig this. Uh, I, I don't know if I could deal with that snorkel, but, you know, see the Badlands brake lights? Everything says this is a Badlands with just a few exclusive uh, options. But uh, let's see. Anything else? I'm looking. I'm scanning through here real quick. Uh, once again, you can go to bronco6g.com, and I will have their link to their website and this this uh, up there if you want to see it. And uh here it shows, you know, some pictures of the Haas system. Everything that I can tell basically looks identical. Um, the the lower control arm may be slightly beefer, but I don't know when this photo was taken, if this is just a pre-production model. So, in the comments, let me know what you think. There you go. I, I do like a good cargo khaki color, or whatever they're going to call this color. I do like a good uh, kind of a tan color on this thing. And I'm... Uh, they're definitely going after the Overland crowd. I mean, it's it's no secret that uh, you know Toyota has like Toyota just knows how to seem to do colors that kind of excite its base, and I think Ford's paid attention to that and it's like, hey, you know, I said it in the last video, we're gonna take the best of what Wrangler can do and the best of what Toyota can do, and we're gonna merge it into the Bronco, and I think they're really doing that. And I hate to, I mean, I, I feel just dirty saying that, but in the comments below, let me know what do you think. Are you excited by this? Is this just like, nah, it's, you know, I don't, once again, for me, the bumper is just like, I think they could have done way better with that. I think using the, the modular winch plate as a after effect was better than trying to sell it based, you know, like, hey, this is, we're adding this bumper, you know. Let me know in the comments, though, what you think. And uh, whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, you know the drill. It does not matter what you drive. This is your video, All Terrain Nation, and I'm your host, David Boyd. We're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.